so many questions, so let's bring on an expert. Here to help us out is the general manager of Ripple Effect. We've got Christian Grass. Welcome, Christian. Hey, Austin. Thanks for having me. Super excited to be here. Of course. Thank you for being here. Now, that trailer, absolutely ridiculous. Like, what the hell did we just see? So what you just saw was the Battlefield Portal. It's a new community-driven experience that gives players the freedom to write their own rules and shape their own Battlefield. You can mix and match content from Battlefield 1942, Bad Company 2, BF3, and Battlefield 2042 to create brand new game modes. Then you can share and discover those on the Portal platform. And that's just what's coming at launch. This is a real love letter to the fans from our incredible team. And oh, oh, and this is your squad. Yes, this is the fantastic Ripple Effect team, and they deserve all the credit in the world for creating this great experience. We've had so much fun bringing back some of the most beloved vehicles, gadgets, weapons, and maps from past titles. Well, thank you all. Huge, huge credit to this amazing team and everyone who's made Battlefield 2042 possible. All right, so to bring it back, when you say beloved maps, we're we talking Caspian Border? Yes. Arika Harbor? Yes. El Alamein? Yes, El Alamein is also included. It's actually my all-time favorite map. Plus, we have Noshar Canal, Battle of the Bulge, and Valparaiso. And, of course, all seven of the new epic scale maps already announced for 2042, they're also playable in Portal. I love it. I love it. But this is more than just maps, right? Absolutely. Portal is a chance for the community to drive the platform. There's a whole slate of customization options and even an advanced logic editor for you to play around with. Tools that were previously only available to us on the development team. So that trailer, it was just packed with a ton of crazy moments. So I'm curious, how wild can we actually get with Portal? You can get pretty wild. Yeah? Okay, so can I pit World War II against 2042? Yes, you can. Okay, uh, what about game modes? Can I make an infection mode where it's me against a ton of super fast soldiers with knives? Absolutely. Okay, uh, what about shoddy snipes? But, but, but not just regular shoddy snipes, like, like, like a gun game with a whole bunch of shoddy snipes from all throughout history. That is a very specific idea there, Austin. But yes, actually, you can. Batten three for three. Bring it home. Can I play as a penguin with a flamethrower? A penguin with a flamethrower? Yeah. No. I mean, look, there are some limits. It's not a level editor. You can't edit the maps themselves. And no, you can't play as a penguin with a flamethrower. All right. That's, that's fine. That's fine. I had to ask. But it does sound like there's a ton to play around with. Oh, yes. The options are pretty deep, and we're committed to working with the community to build out this suite of tools and content as the game evolves. We want this experience to go where you want to take it. We see this sandbox as a big part of the future of Battlefield 2042. Well, I assume that the community is going to have a field day with this. I really hope players will embrace Portal. Uh, that's who we built it for. Uh, in fact, we gave a sneak peek to a few members of the community to see what they could come up with. Oh, okay, I assume my invitation got lost in the mail, but that's fine, that's fine. Let's check it out. Two teams and two VIPs, but only one way to score. This is VIP Fiesta by Courage. It's the US factions of Battlefield 3 and Bad Company 2 facing off on Arica Harbor with 24 players and random loadouts. Die and you'll redeploy with an all new loadout. Track down that enemy VIP and make it count. Or bring the power of 2042 to Caspian border and take on the forces of 1942. This is Quality versus Quantity by Gabitron. Small squad from 2042 are taking on 32 players from 1942. The future's got the hardware, but the past's got the numbers. Destroy those MCOMs. But do it before your tickets are up. You're not getting them back unless you clear the sector. Not enough memes? Fine. Set up on orbital for the fight of your lives with Robot Man by Redacted. 20 duck-sized EOD bots, one horse-sized T-91. Settle your battlefield debates on who wins what. <laughs> Come on, dude, Robot Man, what? This looks so much fun, but I need to know. Just pretend like the cameras aren't here, just me and you. Who's Redacted? 
can't tell you that, sorry. But what I can tell you is that we're so excited for the players to create or simply discover their favorite new way to play Battlefield. And we can't wait to explore and try out the thousands of experiences our community will build once they have the tools in their hands. And we get our hands on Portal at launch, right? Yes. Okay. Portal will be available at launch, day one, along with a bunch of pre-made modes for you to try right away. Okay, this is, this is fantastic. Now, Christian, before you go, let me make sure that I have all of this straight. So on top of all the content and maps that have already been announced, we also get content from Battlefield 1942, Bad Company 2, and Battlefield 3, including six of the best maps of all time, and all that can be sliced, diced, and mixed together in Portal. And then we still have Hazard Zone coming later this year? Yes, that's exactly what I'm telling you, Austin. If you've always been a fan, or if you've never played Battlefield before, we want Battlefield 2042 to be the ultimate Battlefield experience. Christian, just, just thank you. Thank you. My pleasure, Austin. I'll see you on the battlefield. <laughs>